tons of removal, tons of counter magic, slow, grindy. And last game was decided... To have an idea, this is the kind of deck that we are speaking about. We don't know the le exact list, but this is the idea of uh, a deck with a lot of cloud posts and tries to ramp up with Primal, Titan, Reclaimer to get to Ulamog and things like that. I saw the finish of game two and it was a Eye of Ugin tutoring up uh, Emrakul the Eon Storm and casting it on the same turn. So he had like 30 Big mana map. or something <laughs> on the battlefield, pretty crazy. And it is kind of hard for the control player to interact with um, this kind of deck because it doesn't typically it doesn't run that many wasteland if at all and the cloud post player does play both cavern of souls which he can name on either titan for primeval titan mm -hmm. or on uh, eldrazi yeah so it is kind of hard to interact with the big threats on the stack so you typically the it's, control it's player. It's a bunt, bunt control deck. Or... I think it's splashing Pyroblast okay. and expressive iteration. Is it with the Omnath or? Is it with Omnath or? No, no. <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> okay. I think it is pretty standard with Euro and Endurance yes, as win conditions. And for the control play, it's always kind of hard to decide what you want to be countering and what you want to be disrupting. The most conservative play is usually to interrupt the acceleration, which we saw happen here. So he opted to um, kill the, what's it called? Uh, carpet, carpet of, flowers of flowers to slow down the ramp yeah it's kind of impossible to react to the ramp spell the only ramp spell that you can react is the titan the other ramp spells i mean uh, sorry not to the ramp spells to the big finishers uh, the titan is a big finisher and the ramp spell the finishers are a lot of them are uncounterable and yes. are a pain also if they just cast them. Yes. <laughs> and, and even and if you counter one, Eye of Ugin can just search get for the next one. Ones. Yes. It's so it's really it's hard. You kind of have to put them on the clock and just try to delay the game for as long as possible. I totally agree. The problem is uh, the matchup between a control deck and a, a deck like this, like a cloud post deck, is terrible. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't have access to the deck list, so we don't yeah. know if Christoph is running Wastelands or not. I know he does run Life from the Loam and Field of the Dead, but that means he's likely not having the slots to run Wasteland as well. Okay, Field of Dead also. So he has a lot of ramp way to get up. Just Uro? Or? Just Uro. Just Uro. It's a typical slow grinding control deck just leveraging the late game what's called opting is. to go for an elvish rejuvenator which is two is better than one <laughs> two is much better than one <laughs> and Christoph without hesitation opting to kill the first one and he kind of needs to answer the second rejuvenator as well because that is a card he can actually interact with it so he absolutely has to yes and it is fun that rejuvenator you pay two but you get two <laughs> two mana at least you get two now <laughs> or two now or three also you can get but pretty good Let's try to see Christoph's hand because I'm very curious to see how he wants to approach this matchup. I think because yeah, there's this is different. Number, but he cannot play it now. No. 
the double white lands hurting him at this point. Yeah, it's funny how having my Crowdle would have been really helpful for Christoph now. <laughs> I miss Astrolabe, man. <laughs> I used to play this kind of deck all the time in Astrolabe. Made everything so much smoother. Yes, I played it also during Astrolabe times. And I still don't think Astrolabe should have been banned, but that's my opinion. I think it's yeah, a work. Think, Legacy is, in a, is in a really worse spot now than before. That's my. And there we go. We have the second removal spell for the second Rejuvenator. So Christoph opting to further delay the ramp of Pascal he while has... he has Ura waiting in the graveyard entering next turn, hopefully. He has no. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Uru will come into play. Uh, he will draw a card. Christoph will draw a card. He needs to draw a blue card, uh, a blue card to counter the Kozilek that will come into play. And at the same time, also if you counter Kozilek, Kozilek draws four cards. This way, ouch! <laughs> Can I say this? <laughs> yes, and this is what we mentioned. You can't really contain the Cloud Cost player. You just have to delay. For as long as you possibly yeah, can. Yeah, and that's why a you have to counter it, even really... if it sucks. Yeah, but at least he has arrows. So he has a reasonable clock. He will replenish his hand with every attack. Yes, he needs to draw a... the blue land for countering it because if you don't counter the Kozilek, it's still a problem. A ten time in play yes, is pretty much a problem. And he already used two swords to plowshares. You can try with prismatic ending. <laughs> you can try, but try. it won't work. You yeah, know, try. And there we have it. Eye of Ugin. Oh, it's also cheaper. Yes. Still Very one cool. mana left. Uh, we have seen a green sun scene it, which can get either Elvish Rejuvenator or if he has the mana next turn or Primeval Titan. But I think he's just going to get the rejuvenator at this conjuncture. And it resolves, and apparently Christoph did not have a second blue card to pitch into Force of Will, or he may have not wanted to, because I think there's a... There is a white card, maybe it's... There's a Caracas, he can just make him do oh. it again next turn. Yeah, that's not good plan it's not a good plan but <laughs> if he doesn't have another <laughs> yeah it is a that's play not it's, a good plan it allows arrow to attack sure you can draw through when your opponent draws five yes but still <laughs> yes Since the big Eldrazi, all our legendary Caracas is not the answer you want, but the answer you need, I guess. <laughs> uh, but at least he can attack with Earl, which is sure. Gives him another chance to counter the Kozilek. Yeah, the problem is if he draws, 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 at some point he will do some yes, cool but and stuff. It is a four turn clock in Uro. Sure. I think this is one thing that I don't like about Legacy. I think this matchup is what I was talking before. I feel like this matchup is not like a playable matchup. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is like obviously a eighty twenty probably matchup. I think it depends on how you build the deck, right? Because you can build a control deck to beat decks like this. Um, me personally, if I play Bond Control, which is the deck I would have chosen if I were to play today, by the way, I'm playing Wasteland in main deck. Okay. But he has for crop rotation, probably. Um, well, that is something you can interact with, and you play Life from the Loam, so at least you have a chance to... Like, yeah, you have a chance, for sure, yeah. Maybe your matchup you goes play, to 30. <laughs> if you don't play Wasteland, 
you're just eventually losing against the overwhelming card advantage from the I think with, the without the wasteland it's also maybe more than 80 percent because it's not a game that goes fast it's it's a yeah, it's a grindy game at the end yes and in a grindy game the matchup will uh, if the matchup is favorable you will see it there is no possibility that he draws the right combination to go to go out So Christoph representing a hard cast force of will for that Kozilek, but I it. think there is already enough mana to cast a second Eldrazi if he wants to, or if he has one, which is likely the case if he draws another four right. He, I, He's opting to open with okay. once upon a time. Maybe he wants to find Emrakul, which is arguably much better in this spot than yeah. Kozilek. I don't know if I have. I think he has the the sun in his hand. This way. Oh no, he is lucky in one mana. I was thinking about just going for the Kozilek and then sun for uh, the uh, Titan to just set up for the next turn. Mm. So as we mentioned, Kozilek gets countered by the Harkas Force of Will. But he gets to draw another four. And did he his draw the arrows. No. I'm pretty sure he did. No, he has. No, no. Oh, no, he didn't. Kozik still. Back and back. Arcadian Middle. What's it naming, though? Jace? Arakas? Arakas Wasteland. I think being on 16 life. hard to say. I think Arrow, as weird as it sounds, is too slow of a clock. <laughs> uh, I think it's really hard against an opponent with 18 mana at the moment. <laughs> and the next turn... Don't forget it, about it, the it, cost deduction from... Yes, <laughs> and the next turn he will play the uh, Glimmer Post this way. Yeah, it, it, he can make it more than 18. It's, it's 23 <laughs> mana the next turn. Rumor. And he can also just use 2 mana and search another Glimmer. And it's other 3 more. This way, 26 mana if he wants. Yeah. And the deduction for the Eldrazi. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Fireball. The good old Fireball. Oh no, there are no He's still sticking to the plan of slowing down by casting subs to plowshares on the rejuvenator. If if Christoph has still force of will, who'd win? He has the chance. Has I think chance. he's doing all the right things. Yes, I he's, agree. I totally agree. He's interrupting where he can. Oh, he is at twelve. Uh yes. Nice. So the issue with Emrakul is you can bounce it with Karakas, but mm. he does receive an extra turn and he's just going to cast it again. So that is not and an option. And he will cast also Kozilek. He... And he... <laughs> the, he will play, cast also Kozilek probably this yeah. turn directly. He has 60 mana. He pay, lay, uh, pays 13 for the Emrakul. Is 3. No, yes, just 6 mana left. Moment. Oh no, it was 20 mana. He still gets. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He has still. still... It's, it's hard to calculate the amount of mana. He, he has, has a lot. Let's has, agree on that. He has a sun for <laughs> eight mana if he wants now. I think he. Will. What? He found nothing? He found nothing? Did we see all the rejuvenators already? And he didn't it's have enough mana for Primeval Titan? It is possible, you know? But he had 50 mana. He had 20 mana. The, the They are 5 each, right? Yeah, but he used Eye of Ugin, which costs 7 to activate. Oh, to he used it. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't see that he used the. Then, yes, he did, he did it for 1, and he had no rejuvenator anymore. You're right. Unfortunate, but likely doesn't matter because he's already in his Emrakul extra turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we can see clearly why this deck is basically designed to be the control decks. 
The Delver decks are much harder because the clock is faster and they have Wasteland. I totally agree. But against a control deck without any meaningful interaction with lands, no back to basics, no Blood Moon, no Wasteland. This eats the control decks. I make a lot of mana, I cast spells you can't counter. It's a good idea. Or maybe you can counter them. But maybe I just take an extra them, turn, or I, just, I can just do it again. <laughs> I get an extra turn, and I can do it again next turn, because I have I have sure. Ugin, and Emrakul gets shuffled into the library, so... Good luck. I still wouldn't bring a deck like this to a tournament, especially if I'm expecting a ton of Doomsday. The you're basically that's playing your sideboard against the Doomsday <laughs> that's what because I was your main deck is way, way, way that, too slow. That is what I was saying about Legacy. I mean, this is rock, paper, scissors in the in the meaning that I think this deck eats the other deck. It's 80-20 for me. Uh, then a combo deck eats this deck with no problems. Yes. And, uh, and the matchup against Delver is, I think, one of the nicest games. Because it's a run, but it's a fair run. Mm. There, is, there are Wastelands, there are... It's playable. Uh, it is playable, yeah. It's better than play... I think playing this deck against a, a Doomsday deck is not a good... Well, thing. one player gets to cast magic cards and the other has 15 mana spells in hand <laughs> when yeah. he dies. Yeah. <laughs> classic land ritual I win against... Uh, Oh, look at my Ulamo. <laughs> Iteration, a new card. Do you like it? Not sure. Okay, Not I, sure. <laughs> this is, I think, hopefully the last time I talk about Standard or Vintage okay. <laughs> during the stream. Uh, expressive Iteration needs to go in Standard. Like, it's, it's seriously way too strong. People are talking totally about agree. All Runs Epiphany a lot, which is understandable, uh, but the uh, issue is expressive iteration. I, I think uh, Epiphany is, has not been. But I, I think the expressive iteration, iteration has is so strong, man. I, it's such a good card. <laughs> I totally agree. I think it's a cool card for Modern and Legacy. Yeah. Uh, I think it's not a cool card for Standard. <laughs> no. But I think it's it's... Perfectly reasonable in Legacy, right? Because I agree. it's a two mana draw spell, which is already yeah, it, kind of demanding <laughs> considering yeah. the format. And you yeah. can't really, or you don't typically want to play it's, it on turn it's two. It's still really good, but. Yes, it's I really good, it's, but it's a, it's it's a fair magic yeah, card. I agree. I, uh, I love iteration, I, I play it in standard a lot. Yeah, but I, I think it has to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. I play four all runs of Pippin, yeah, of course. <laughs> no, that's that's game three of uh, this round. It's it's the second future match that we had. Uh, we didn't put the, the score, but it is 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. But one player has taken extra turns and the others doesn't have many cards in the library left, so it will be a 2-1 short game. Yes, if the time is still there, yes. That's the only question. <laughs> That's the only question. She's of ease on 30 life, so it <laughs> needs to connect rice. Where did Emrakul go anyway? Is he still in hand, lurking, waiting to take that extra turn? Or this is another well-known streamer, Italian guy, <laughs> that is in the MPL, that is the elite of magic. <laughs> elite. Elite. In the elite of magic. Not like us plebs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Got into elite of magic in this year. And I will test with him for the next Pro Tour. Yeah, Eldradzis, Eldradzis all over the places. All Jeez, that's a lot of place. power. 
So since <laughs> they had extra time in this round because um, players on stream get an extra time for changing yes changing tables and they went into extra turns i think it we will be we'll take a very short break and the next round is likely starting in yes. just a few minutes i would go for 12 25 the next round will start <laughs> 